maximum day. the Joker, sir. Yes, he's in the penthouse. I see you profited from my advice. Yet again? Not yet. Getting to him won't be easy. The elevators are down, and the Joker's men are everywhere. Well, I've no doubt you'll figure a way out there. When do we get the off the hotel gate? Yes, locked up. Yes? Why is that? Joker's got all hands redecorating this fine establishment. You ever think who this is all? So much! I won't. I'm here to help. Okay, please. Please, they've got my friends. Holding them hostage in the overview bar. Where is that? The suspended bar, between the towers. Thank <laughs> you. 
beaten bigger guys than you! down here and keep watching. I'll cover your post.
can I say? I got a soft spot for cheaters. So bravo, Batman! Bravo! Oh, thank God. Let me out of this. Sir? Please, please don't! Come on, back to the bar! What? Who are you? I'm here to help. There are more of them. They have my co-workers. They're... they're forcing them. Don't worry. I'll get to them before anything happens. Okay. Hurry!
The bat ain't showing up. You all right if we ice these guys? Yeah, what the hell? Let's do this. He says we can kill him. Guys, look. I'm on TV. Hi, Ma. Hey, Vicky. Come here, baby. Get a shot of this. Come on! like this. These bombs are set to detonate December 31st. I should be able to disarm them with my cryptographic sequencer.
guests, are they safe? Not now, Alfred. Sir, are you all right? Your voice... I'm fine, Alfred. I've dealt with psychopaths before, but this... Sir, I strongly suggest you call in Captain Gordon. He could be a valuable ally for you. I don't need any allies. I see the Joker's men here have been eliminated. That's good work. But remember, our primary objective is the bat. We must remain vigilant. He will not get back us. And this is the only way to the penthouse. We can hope you're right. But only time will test your words. The bat is coming. You know, we've been up here since your boss pay has jumped into this huge pile of money once.
of you to drop in. <coughs> and just in time. Oh, he's my parasol. <laughs> Remember, you gave your word. You have one minute. Do they even have manners where he comes from? <laughs> you see, it's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. Hmm. How about... This one! Did you just take it? None! I think? That was just a little stocking stuffer. A construction site blocking my view. <laughs> but this one isn't.
getting too hot. Deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> Don't move, freak! I think he's talking to you. Let me guess. He got away. Take him to Blackgate. Sorry, yes. You know, Officer. <laughs> I was 
was wondering the same thing myself. Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You of all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy biting through thunderbolts and wanted party crashes screaming for your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own memories. Oh. I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds delightful. <laughs> okay. One more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you wanna know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil. Predetermined, not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. Tonight, that's all changed. What's changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities, it was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you met someone special? Yes. And you might say it's changed. Everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own? It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... Like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. 
You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halene. Halene Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Honey? Oh, uh, I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. This man, this is Delta 4-7. Yells... You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. The story back at the precinct. What is he then? Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the blue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your work, then. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go, but I'm sure you won't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> 